Eric Bieniemy is the hot name that everybody's saying that wants to leave KC, and a lot of Ravens fans are talking about. We need Eric. We need Eric. We need Eric. My thing was, if I'm not leaving an offensive coordinator job for a head coaching job, and I'm going, you know, in a lateral move, why would I leave the best player in the NFL, and possibly, you know, the best receiver in, in the NFL? Why would I go laterally to take that job? And leave leave that behind. I think because you know the league has proven to him over and over that they are not going to hire him just because he's the offense coordinator for the best offense in the NFL, who's always in you know contention for a Super Bowl, like they hire every other coordinator for. Hmm. So I think the, the thought is, I'll go somewhere else, and Andy Reid won't be there, and I'll prove that I can coordinate an offense on my own, and then I'll get a head coaching job. No, I mean, I don't know that there's merit to that thought, but, you know, I, I, that's the only reason that I could see him, you know, being willing to leave Kansas City. I have another reason. Go. They don't, Kansas City don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> like, they tried, they tried to get rid of him this offseason, but they figured let's bring it back for one more go round. And I think that, you know, just their personalities, because a lot of players that leave there say that they don't like Eric enemy. I don't know how true it is, but, why not go somewhere else and prove that you can do it with another franchise? You take this Ravens franchise and you take Lamar if he comes back and you turn him into a whole nother play and you turn this into a whole, a totally different offense and we possibly go in and win a couple playoff games. Now you can't be denied for a head coaching job because it's like you can't say Andy Reid was the puppeteer for everything that's going on. I mean, you, you know they will try, but it'll be hard for them to say it and, and deny him. And, and they'll probably be one downtrodden franchise, probably the Arizona Cardinals that'll hire somebody and fire him again at the end of the year and start over. Mm-hmm. Jose. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, I mean, that was the rumor uh, last year, right. That, you know, Kansas city, you know, they, well, they, I mean, that was reported that they, they were having to talk whether or not to bring him back. And then they decided on one year deal and maybe, yeah, they're, you know, it's, it's it's documented there. There, you know, the friction between him and, and Mahomes and all that stuff. So maybe it's a personality thing. But here they are in the Super Bowl again, and you know, once you make it this far, um, that tends to change the minds a, a, a lot of times, right? Like, hey, you 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 can't stand this person, but it's working, mm-hmm. right? So maybe they don't get along. Maybe a lot of players don't like how how his message is delivered. But clearly something's working. And if they win it again, it's hard to break up a winning formula. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not 100% certain that he even leaves Kansas City. I can see them, especially if they win, I can see them saying, let's keep, keep this thing going. Let's, mm-hmm. uh, let's re-up him. And, you know, maybe Andy Reid doesn't have that many years left um, coaching, and he'll be the coach in waiting, you know, something like that. So I'm I'm not 100 percent convinced that he's gonna go unless that Colts job that's been rumored that he uh, uh he's in line for or or you know they requested to interview him for if that comes through and he becomes a head coach that's the only way I see him going but I I definitely don't see him coming to Baltimore without a Lamar deal done I, let's mm-hmm. say that mm-hmm. right um he I mean if if he's going for another coordinator job it's not gonna be for Tyler Huntley Pro right. Bowler <laughs> yeah Pro yeah. Bowl Tyler Huntley <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> Get it out here, though. <laughs> I'm just coach. I'm just saying. At the time that Tyler Huntley got voted fourth alternate for the Pro Bowl, he had 400 yards passing, a touchdown, and four interceptions. Look, man, somebody gotta go. 